Uh, next up, high boot time for KDE. Uh, it was mentioned in the pregame here or in one of the chats, people were having problems with KDE boot times. And honestly, I thought, well, let's take this opportunity not to just say KDE, because we can, we can actually analyze this. Pretty much every distro runs System D these days. It actually has built-in analyzation. So let's take a look at my startup because I want to know how long it takes to do it. So let's pull up this. We'll just paste systemd analyze. It took 12 seconds to start up, or actually 22 seconds to start up, um, and it just kind of shows everything. Now you can actually go blame. Hey, who's the blame to a slow startup? Let's see. So you do this, scroll up the top. Okay, network manager is taking a long time to grab its IP. Huh, so let's say, let's say I was like going for like a I want to have the fastest boot in the world kind of setup. I would immediately go, okay, you know what? I don't need Metmark Manager. I can hard code my IP. I can remove DHCP. And then I can just literally shave six seconds off my start time. Um, you can do all kinds of funky stuff here. But it's a good way to just kind of see where your time is going. Now, if you see something that's like 30 seconds or a minute, you probably should investigate further on that. So, uh, <laughs> you know, but it's a really good one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit Q for quit on the system D blame. There's also some other cool ones here. And I, I, I looked this up prior to, I haven't really used critical chain or analyze plot. It's just something I was like, Ooh, as I was reading the arch wiki, I always learned something every time I go through it. Um, just kind of saying, let's see what, what happens. The time it took for a unit to become active or started painted with an at character. Hmm, okay. I was just seeing if there was anything here that was causing a little bit longer startup. Saying light DM also kind of took a little bit, lagged a little bit, which we could probably, you know, let's say you we weren't concerned with security in the same realm as network manager. You can actually hard code this just to be like, you know what, I don't need a login manager <laughs> and just push it right to the desktop. Um, not that I recommend any of these things. I just want to just say, hey, it's an option. You can dictate how your computer's gonna work. Uh, and then plot. Now this is something, that, that SVG is an actual, an actual file you can open up in GIMP. So I wanted to run this live on stream for the first time because I've never actually done it. And it's something I always just, I love discovering stuff while I'm on live and just trying new things, it's just fun. All right, so this really does do a full-on plot. Uh, probably should open this up in a window manager, but let's see. Oh, my word. That is crazy. Look at that. Okay, so the firmware takes a full... Okay, here it goes. Loaders, kernels, system D. You know why everyone says system D's bloat? Look at all the stuff inside system D. Yeah, like init D and all those. Yeah, there's not nearly, look at all that. But you can kind of see what all it's doing. And it's a good way of, you can plot this out. That's neat. I mean, that's just cool. So as as much, I, I don't particularly, you know, I love System D, you know, call me, a, call me a sellout, but I just love the fact I can do all these little kind of cool utilities that really I don't think very many people use. How, you know, how beneficial are they? I would. I would venture to say this isn't just neat to have. So uh, just diagnosing some startup things. But you know what? Let's do a live KDE install. Let's let's just change our desktop and let's take a sharp left turn into the ditch here, as I do sometimes in my stream. Let's just install a whole new desktop environment on this guy. Uh, because KDE, how, how much slower is it? So let's do uh, system D analyze again, right? Our full startup was 22 seconds. How much slower is my system going to run with KDE on it compared to something without even a desktop environment? I would imagine at least 10 to 20 seconds. But we won't know until we actually do it. And that's the thing I hate about just the world in general. <laughs> Small rant. Um, too many people say everything is always like this or this is always the way it is. Man just go do it yourself 
Because I'm going to tell you right now, certain configurations in certain environments sometimes perform differently and wacky. Sometimes I'll do this and I'll get a great result and you'll do it and you'll get a bad result. I just want to show you kind of the, the, the steps to get there so you can understand. As you see, KDE's download size is 50 megs. Total install size is 200 megs. That ain't bad, right? So let's look at all it's installing. Uh, it's installing AppStream Blue, which is the indexer, which is total garbage. We'll disable that. Um, most of the KDE junk, um, which, it, it, you know, the, this actual Plasma desktop only installs kind of like the bare bones, so it's not too bad. Ah, all right. We'll hit yes. See what we go. Oh, I should have done a backup before this. Oh, well, too late now. Back up before doing something crazy. <laughs> uh, pro tip. Do as I say, not as I do. I feel like I'm talking to my kids. Um, all right, let's reboot. Pseudo reboot. I really want it to reboot. Yeah, I had a stream. What, what, when was that, guys, when I wiped out my entire backup drive? And, of course, all my other drives. That was fantastic. I think I was trying to install, like, Arch in five minutes or something crazy. That was fun. All right, let's go Plasma. Plasma made by KDE. Roar. All right. Waynamp. It really whips the llamas. All right. Um. All right. Oh, God, I hate this. Uh, I always... Oh, crap. My color scheme is a little off. Yeah, let's go switch that over there. All right, let's go terminal. Yeah, let's launch an old terminal, shall we? Um, so we're on KDE. What do we got? It's 20, what was it, 22 seconds, guys? System D, analyze. <gasps> we added three seconds. Oh, KDE so bloated. Where's my three seconds back? But people that say KDE's bloated uh, are referring to the full package. There's a KDE-full package, and it installs a lot of bloat. As you see, base KDE, man, beautiful. One of my favorite desktop environments. I just hate the full packages. Much like anything in Linux, a lot of times it's, unless it's GNOME, I really just, I hate GNOME. There's, there's just no getting around that. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do like GNOME settings, and I like Nautilus. There's pieces of GNOME I like. Uh, so, you know, there's there's a little bit there. Here's a little bit of wiggle room. Let's go to our browser. You go to youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Chris Titus Tech. Go to the little search icon, and you can like go, okay, KDE. And then... There's one right here. KDE slow down and how to fix it. Disable blue file indexer. That was a good video for that one. Um, if you're if you don't have any backups, you should always be doing like some backups. So do time shift. This is these are a little bit older videos, so please excuse my production quality back in them days. But time shift backup and restore in Linux, another good one. 